John here. Electricians need to know, apprentices need to know, and the general public should know a little bit about bolts, small bolts, the everyday kind of stuff that an electrician would use every day. Your boss may yell at you, go get me a quarter twenty uh, by half inch or by inch and a half. So you kind of need to know that if you're an apprentice. Uh, the first number is usually the size. The second number is usually the thread and the third number is usually the length. So that being said, um, a screw isn't uh, a bolt. Bolts have threads and they have nuts. Bolts have nuts. Screws don't. They have pretty much threads and there's some screws. Uh, the top screw is a stainless. The second screw down is a blue one. It's for concrete. That's a sheetrock screw. It's kind of hard. Uh, if it, it gets under stress, it'll pop the head off. Uh, and this is a big leg screw uh, that holds into wood timbers. Okay, these are screws. They don't have nuts. Now, they do make a little uh, uh, sheet metal nut. Uh, for screws uh, to catch these threads. Um, however, uh, they're pretty flat. They're, there's no real thickness to them at all. They're sheet metal. Okay, that being said, uh, screws. Now, there's a standard for American screws. Now, one of the problems with metrics and uh, the European screws and Japanese screws is they didn't have a really good standard and the DIN standard was good and a few other standards were good over there in Europe and they used the metric system and it was a good system however they were kinda all over the place because Japanese manufacturers were a little different than European manufacturers and, and German manufacturers and um, so they tried to take over uh, the, our bolting industry in America with their metric system and it failed pretty much because and and it's it's in some of our automotive industry but it failed because uh, their standardization was poor they they didn't have a unified standard as such the Americans have had a unified standard for a very long time. They're well in place in the bolting industry. Uh, the American standard is ASTM and ASE. Uh, ASE is an automotive standard and ASTM is for everything else, including automotive. It's for everything, really. It's a testing and materials standard and it's now an international standard and there are now a European standard IOS uh, International Organization of Standardization and uh, they're trying to put all the European and Japanese and the rest of the world and even America under that standard and uh, the American standard seems to hang on uh, even though it's pressured to give up to the metric system. So this is about an American standard. Uh, it's about American bolts. So uh, as, a, as a roller coaster inspector, I inspected, uh, I don't know, a few hundred roller coasters, found uh, counterfeit bolts. All, there are counterfeit bolts out there, so you have to be aware of counterfeit bolts. Now, the problem with counterfeit bolts is they may be too hard or too soft or not hard enough for the application or or too uh, brittle um, and bolts it's it's a big it's a big problem um, stainless steel bolts now there are, there are a few gee 30 40 different kinds of stainless steel bolts now and back when I was a pup, uh, an 18.8, uh, we put underwater and and used that pretty religiously for stuff that was going to get wet all the time. And any of the uh, any other application, it was in the uh, 300s. Uh, we used a 300 stainless or 308 or whatever it is. Uh, and 
we used that. So uh, there wasn't that many around at that time, especially not today. There's all kinds of them today. So, but stainless is usually grade two. Uh, stainless is brittle, they break easily. So, uh, depending on the applications, I would not use a stainless. Uh, matter of fact, I haven't used very many stainless in my life, unless it's underwater. Okay, but it shouldn't be holding up a roller coaster, it should be holding up uh, something minor. Okay, so uh, that being said, uh, bolts. There's a lot of different heads. There's a pan head, Phillips, there's uh, slots, there's cap screws, there's cartridge bolts, there's uh, buck, there's uh, elevator bolts, and they have a big head on elevator bolts. And the reason uh, that is, is the first elevators were made out of leather belts. And you jumped on the leather belt and you, hang, you hung on for dear life and you went up. But these elevator bolts would were big flat things that held to that leather surface so it didn't pull through. You didn't want it to pull through when you're 80 feet in the air or 100 feet in the air climbing up a grain elevator or something like that. So uh, those were elevator bolts and it, the term kind of got stuck. So anyway, a lot of different heads in the bolts. A lot of different materials now in the bolts. And that's why American Standard, uh, and they standardize those materials and religiously, and that's why the American bolting industry is still pretty healthy. All right, the first bolt here is a four, number four, uh, 40 threads per inch, 440. Now that's used for like sockets and things like that, very small bolt. The one that's used mostly uh, in the receptacle and switch and switch cover plate industry is the six. It's a 632. It only has six. Uh, it's a number six. It's one, the, the, the wire that it's made out of is a number six wire and it's 32 threads per inch. The next one down and when you call a bolt, you pretty much call it the size it is. That's going to be an eight. That's going to be a 10. That's going to be a 12. It's getting bigger. It's, it's, uh, you divide, it's all division of eight, a division of one inch. So if you divide one inch uh, into eights, you would have the rod that that bolt is made out of, um, that's shredded out of. Okay, so go back to number six. 632 is used for receptacles, uh, it's used for switches, it's used for a lot of small items that don't weigh a whole lot. Uh, around the house. The 32 threads per inch. Now they do make uh, 632 by quarter and they make 632 by 6 or 8 inches. That's a big ball uh, for a number 6. The 8 has two threads. It has it's an 824 or an 832. So it has 24 threads per inch or it has 32 threads per inch and we call that a national fine or a fine thread. Okay, that uh, also comes up to, I think about 12 inches. You can get uh, an 832 by 12. The 10, uh, 1032 and 1024, the 24 is a coarse thread, the 32 is a fine thread, number 10, uh, and you can get that in a couple feet if you need it. The next one up is a 12. Now the 12, uh, 24 isn't that popular in the U.S. They're they're out there, uh, but it isn't that popular, and it only comes in 24 uh, threads per inch. Uh, you may find different threads out there, but the 24 per inch is what's gonna what you're gonna find most of the time. Okay, now the next one up, the electricians need to pay very very close attention. It's a quarter. It's made out of a quarter inch stock uh, bar or wire and it's threaded so it's going to be a little shorter than a little skinnier than a quarter uh, not much uh, I haven't ma miked it in a long time so I don't really know uh, it's quarter 20 now they make a fine thread a quarter 28 now in all of these they make different grades grade 2 is most of these are grade 2's they make uh, grades 1 through 12 those are 
there's how hard the bolt is, how hard. Now there's a Rockwell standard, and they they call it a Rockwell, how hard the Rockwell is. So anyway, the graded bolts uh, are grade one through twelve. Now um, in America, we we try to hit grade two for most of our bolting, and grade f grade five and grade eight. Grade eight is a really good strong bolt. It's not too too hard. Uh, yet, uh, that is our premium bolt, a grade eight bolt. So anyway, that's the hardness. Go back to 12, uh, go back to the quarter 20. Uh, most electricians hang pipe and do all kinds of stuff with a quarter 20. It's 20, 20 threads per inch. They do make a 28. Now most of the quarter 28s are hardened bolts there for putting things together that that need to stay together uh, under stress uh, under in under tension uh, like roller coasters so uh, and we they do make a quarter 28 uh, grade 5 and grade 8 bolts for lugs to to clamp lugs together and put them under clamp so they never come apart and they're they're good secured bolts okay uh, quarter 20 uh, from there we change heads this is a slot head and all these come in different heads this is a hex head it's a quarter 20 uh, hex head bolt some people call them a hex head cap screw okay and the big significant difference is most of these small ones come with slots or Phillips or different kind of pan heads uh, flat heads things like that when you get up to a quarter inch, uh, they come with a hex head, and most of them are hex heads from then on. Uh, as you can see with this little chart, uh, the quarter is the last slot that we got, and the next one up is also a quarter, but it changes to hex. And all these are hex heads, okay. Uh, the quarter 20 and the quarter 28 hex head bolt comes in different grades, uh, grade 5 and grade 8, uh, depending on your application. Could be, uh, they make these things 8 feet long, uh, it, it's called all thread. Uh, there's no nets uh, on an all thread, or no, excuse me, there's no heads on an all thread. It's just all threads. So you have to put nuts on both ends. Uh, and you can cut it off to any length you want. It's a quarter 20 all thread. And uh, a lot of electricians carry an eight-foot piece of quarter twenty all thread. They can hang stuff two or three feet off the off the ceiling uh, with a all thread or the quarter twenty all thread. And they also make it in quarter twenty eight, although it's not that popular with electricians. Now the next step up is the five sixteenths. Now the five sixteenths. This particular one is a stainless. I couldn't find a five sixteenths in my junk drawer to to. Uh, a regular bolt but anyway uh, it's a little bigger than the quarter and a lot of electricians use it for various things uh, bolting and so forth uh, the next one up is a 3 8 now the 5 16 has an 18 or 24 thread so you can see the threads getting less and less as we go down and getting bigger and bigger okay the 3 8 now the 3 8 is kind of a standard bolt for for electricians because we use a lot of 3 8 bolts with Unistrat Unistrat nuts and and all kinds of bolting applications the 3 8 is very very popular with electricians okay and they also make a hardened bolt this particular 3 8 bolt is a grade 8 bolt and we use these in motor bolts uh, clamping um, lugs together and uh, putting them under a clamp load and um, those are 16 threads per inch and then the a fine thread is a 24 threads per inch so uh, 3 8 by uh, there again 8 feet 12 feet uh, the all thread and uh, they don't make graded all thread I don't think but they do make grade 2 all thread uh, 3 8 of uh, 16 and that's pretty popular the next jump here is the 7 16 
the 7 16 bolt, a pretty good sized bolt. Uh, it's for some major bolting. Uh, last time I used a 7 16 it was a, a grade 8 and it was uh, um, for a fixture that was 32 uh, feet in the air uh, on a pole. So it's a 7 16 it's 14 threads per inch or the national fine would be 20 threads per inch. That's a pretty good sized bolt. It holds quite a bit. The next one up is a half inch bolt. Now you could hang your car on this half inch bolt and swing it around like a yo-yo and uh, it wouldn't stress this half inch bolt at all because this this guy is uh, this is a graded grade 8 bolt and uh, pretty tough. It's only 13 threads per inch and uh, the national fine would be 20 threads per inch. So that half inch 20 uh, it's a really good bolt. You put you lock that bolt down uh, with a good nut and a washer. Now we haven't talked about washers at all. If you use a washer, use the same grade as the bolt. If you're using these grade twos, use a grade two washer. Um, but if you're using a grade five, use a grade five washer or or a grade eight, either one. Uh, and if you're using a grade eight, you need a grade eight washer. Uh, putting a grade 2 under a grade 8 uh, just smishes it up. Uh, it, it, would, it would collapse the washer. Uh, these are pretty strong bolts. Uh, you put them under clamp and they hold uh, religiously for many, 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 many years. Now we put Space Mountain together. Uh, we, put, we put big lugs and we deoxidize the lugs and we grease them up and we we use grade 8 bolts and we clamp them down and we tape them up good with uh, 130C and uh, Scotch 33 and uh, these bolts they don't give up. I would come back 10 years later and they look exactly like they did when we put them down. So anyway critical loads uh, use a grade 8 and uh, that's all I can tell you about critical loads. Now it doesn't mean these grade 2's uh, for their application uh, are bad because they're not. Uh, I've hung so much pipe over the years with a grade uh, grade two quarter twenty um, all over the place. Even big pipe, I've I've hung uh, four inch and five inch with a quarter twenty uh, grade two pipe grade two bolt. So anyway, uh, these eleven bolts are pretty much what electricians are going to need to to learn uh, when the, when your boss yells at you you want a 3 8 bolt by uh, and it's usually the lower thread uh, in an electrical truck uh, the 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 high thread the the uh, national fine thread isn't used that much uh, other than uh, like bolting motors down or putting lugs together things you know high stress uh, connections. We use a national fine. A regular, a regular bolt of panel to the wall is uh, the regular thread, the the lower thread, and they're a cheaper bolt also. So anyway, uh, John here, ShookElectric.com. Uh, we sell a few little items uh, for the bolting industry, not very many, but uh, we want to try to keep all the counterfeit bolts out of our industry if we can. So anyway, thanks for watching and for your apprentices, you need to know these small bolts uh, so the, so your boss uh, won't have to go out and get his, get his own bolts. You can be able to get them for him. So, and that'll help a great deal. All right. Thanks for watching.